Welcome back to our video series on how to FreeBSD. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a graphical desktop environment. Um, now, before you do that and you proceed through this video, you need to ensure that you've watched part one, two, and three. Part one goes through the basic installation of FreeBSD and installing some commands such as sudo and do as. Now, part two will go through boot environments. If you don't know what boot environments are, please go back and check that video out. They're very useful and I use them throughout this video series. Part three will show you how to install your graphics card drivers. Now, obviously, you're going to need to have graphics card drivers installed before we proceed to installing the graphical desktop. So whether you're running Intel, Nvidia, AMD, the instructions are in the previous video. So I will leave all the links to the videos in the description below. But please just make sure you've followed them. Um, just a word of warning, if you just dive into this video and you try installing it, if you've not got your graphics card drivers installed, it's just not going to work. Um, but let's dive straight in. Okay. Let's log in. So you'll recall previously we mentioned boot environments. You'll see we've got the KDE 5 one, we've got before update. KDE 5 is obviously another video I was doing about installing KDE 5. Um, so we're going to create another one for this. So I'm going to do as B E T L. I'm going to create XFCE. It's always a good idea to create boot environments when you're doing major upgrades such as this one. We created that. Um, so let's activate it. And now we want to reboot into it. Okay, it's rebooted. So I'm just going to do BE CTL list. So XFC is the one that's uh, active now. And XFC is the one that we'll reboot into. But first, we're going to need to go ahead and install XORG. So, do as package install XORG. Yep. That takes one gig of space, and there's about 250 meg download. Okay, that's. Uh, Installed, so next we're going to want to go ahead and install XFCE. So we'll do do as package install XFCE. Again, that's going to need around a gig in space. So XFCE um, is now installed. So we need some way to automatically start it, but it does rely on Dbus as well for hardware abstraction. So let me just make sure that's installed. Which it is. So let's make sure it starts up. Do as sysrc dbus underscore enable equals true. Oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. So that's dbus enabled. Um, so now we need some way to start xfce so we'll use a uh, light dm for that so we'll do as package install we want light dm but we also want light dm greeter oh, sorry light dm btk greeter okay um now, there's a warning that's come up on the screen saying if you enable lock memory option in lightdm.com due to security concerns, you'll need to increase the maximum amount of memory to allow the daemon. Um, so we can copy that. Um, first line to rebuild the game. Right, so that was fairly straightforward. Um, so now we've installed LightDM, we just need to make a quick change. So 
we need to edit the file in user, local, etc. Light DM, it's called light DM for comp. Yeah, that's the running editor. So use whichever editor you're happy with. Now on session reader, reader session. Yeah. So this line here, we need to. Uh, the cursor come. Uh, add a line under here that says greeter session equals light dm etk greeter. And that will basically allow light dm to automatically start up powers. So we're going to do sysrc light dm underscore enable equals yes. Now if we just check our configuration file. We need dbus enable and we need light light dm enabled. So with that it should be good I think. Uh Let's reboot that. And now I'm going to switch over to the console. Um, because obviously I can't start a window manager from an SSH session. This is a little bit smaller. There's nothing you need to read though. I think grab the keyboard for that. So this is light DM, which is our login manager. So there we go. That's XFC installed. Pretty simple, uh, as long as you've followed the previous videos. Just pause that a second. <laughs> And there you have it. That's how you install a graphical desktop environment on FreeBSD. It's very easy to do, as is installing most packages on FreeBSD. If you did find this video useful, please hit that like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. You never know, you might find some videos that you like. If you hit that notifications icon, you'll receive a notification of any new videos as they are done. And we do have a members section on this channel where videos are released to members first before they're released to the public. So you may also consider that. Um, but before you go anywhere, I'm going to leave a link to some videos that you might find interesting.